Let's try Nissin new pasta, carbonara, and bolognese flavors. Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Sia Slurps on Mystery Mondays. We're gonna be trying these Italian-inspired uh, instant noodles. Um, it's pretty neat, really interesting. I've had my eye on these for a couple years now, and now it's time for me to actually try these bad boys. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, so these are our noodle boxes here. They're in a square cup here. We got some flakes that we're gonna take out of our carbonara packet, which is the green one on the right. And then we also have our bolognese sauce packet as well as our flakes in there, some interesting goodies. So we're gonna go ahead and dump out our flakes. Um, that one there is some minced meat. We got some peas in there, it looks like. And this one looks like some dehydrated bacon. Very exciting. So I have just some regular water here that I put in. They have specific instructions. Um, sorry, that was hot boiling water that I put in that one. Filling it up to the line. Uh, and you're gonna cook this for three and a half minutes. They do recommend cooking between three and four minutes of using hot water or uh, something closer to four to five minutes if you're wanting uh, to use cold water. So we're gonna give that a bit of a stir, keeping the lid off. And these are what these bad boys look like. Cannot wait to dig in. All right, so this is the finished product. So let's try the carbonara first. What it looks like here, fully rehydrated. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Let's try a bolognese. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay. These are really interesting. I have my doubts, but flavor-wise, and we'll start with, with like the carbonara. Carbonara quite creamy, you got a nice cheese based powder that is a sauce. Really cool that the carbonara version actually comes with some dehydrated pork. So they do have little bits of bacon in there which rehydrated pretty nicely. So they got some parsley flakes that are in there as well. Not a whole ton of flakes there. As for the noodles, it is like um, this is a regular, I would say a ramen noodle. Um, this is what it looks like here. It is similar to a linguine, it doesn't have that nice bite to it when you when you bite down on it. Um, maybe that you would achieve that by cooking it three minutes. It did say between three and four minutes. So maybe if you did want to go with more of the al dente route, more authentic style, then I'd probably recommend that for three minutes. I would say it's more maybe akin to a regular American style Alfredo sauce. No peas in sight, but very simple with your dehydrated bacon and your cream sauce. It smells good and it smells like a carbonara, so that was convincing enough for me. Um, we do have our bolognese, which I thought was really interesting. Um, even when I opened up the package for the sauces and also even the flakes that came in it, yes, not, not very standard, I would say, but obviously these are instant noodles. They're not gonna be an authentic Italian pasta at all. I wonder if it's even more like a Asian style bolognese. Like I, I know that Hong Kong has some bolognese uh, spaghetti meat sauces as well, which tend to be on the sweeter side. I'm also getting some sweetness in from the sauces here. Very strange scent to me in terms of like, uh, it's really fruity and I think that's coming from the tomato, but I almost, I almost get like a prune kind of, or like a raisin kind of undertone in here, which adds sweetness and depth. Uh, a little bit too strange for my liking. Doesn't scream bolognese sauce to me. You don't get that nice, like long simmered, simmered for hours on the stove, like Nona made it type of um, sauce here. But again, really cool that the sauce packet and the flake packet actually comes with some dehydrated beef. So we have, we do have some minced beef in this as well, um, which is really cool because sometimes it's really hard to find um, instant noodles that do have real meat products. Um, it did come with green peas, uh, which I found to be really strange in a bolognese. Um, which I found did not rehydrate pretty well. They in fact were nice and plump, but when bitten into it, they were quite grainy. So I didn't really enjoy that kind of texture or flavor. I don't think it really added anything to it. I'm more used to like in my bolognese, adding some carrot and celery as nice like narrow pop waste. But again, we're not talking authentic pastas here. Uh, we're talking instant, we're talking what's a good meal. Different flavor, I wouldn't really say I really enjoyed these ones. I really liked the carbonara much more than the bolognese, just, just wasn't what, what I had expected. Um, but I will say it's really cool to have a nice warm meal uh, in these 
really, really convenient square cup noodle packages. Do make sure that you read the instructions correctly. Um, it's clearly lined out for you. It's usually supposed to cover something on top of it. This one you do not, you leave it uncovered. Um, but they have very, very clear instructions, which I think is a bonus uh, for me as well. And doesn't take very long to cook. You can do it between three and four minutes if you are adding hot boiling water. And if you have cold water, it will take about five minutes or six minutes. So it's good to have some options here. And again, depending on the strength of your microwave, but because of that, you might have inconsistent results. But with that being said, I really enjoyed some of these. I really enjoyed the carbonara version, really tasty, but something I would definitely enjoy again and perhaps might even buy again. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a four point two five out of five. I really enjoyed these, really cool. Um, I love any kind of carbonara flavor, maybe I'm just buying from that. But um, for the bolognese ones, they were very strange to me. I'm not sure if I really dig this kind of flavor, but I do like that it has meat. Um, it also is a pretty decent portion as well and can even cook in the microwave, so I don't mind that. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and give this a three out of five. Uh, I won't be buying this flavor again, but I am looking forward to trying other flavors in the market. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe in the links down below, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Just at the top right hand corner, just at the top right hand corner, so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. We'll see you next week. Bye.